Hi, Anti Society! Welcome back to the Anti Social Planet. And today we are celebrating Gio's birthday and we are checking out her I Love You 3000 cover because I did Minji from New Jeans cover of this and I had a few people who were like, I have been bamboozled. I thought this was Minji from Dreamcatcher. In order so that nobody feels lied to, we're going to do Minji from Dreamcatcher's cover of this song too. I'm sure it'll also be the sweetest, precious thing on the planet too because Gio in general, she's so adorable and I just want to protect her and and just pat her on the head and tell her she's doing a good job. Matched with this song that's just like really cute in general, I just, I have a really good feeling about this. So that's what we're gonna be checking out today and there's even a, a video for it. It's gonna be great. So let's get into the special clip. I'm too excited for this. Oh, there's like a little bunny in a hat. The Iron Man. Okay, for one, I love that she has little Iron Mans. Is that, okay, do you say Iron Mans or do you say Iron Men? Because I feel like Iron Man is the proper noun, so then it'd be an S after it. Not important. I love that. I love the little bunny with the hat on it. Also, I love that she's putting some nice little vibrato at the end of some of her phrases. It just sounds really nice, even with this old-timey filter on it too. There's just some of the little touches, especially at the beginning of the song where it is very stripped back and it's very focused on the lyricism and the voice itself. And I just, her little smile, I'm gonna be gushing this whole time. Cause I want this to be something straight out of a Hollywood movie. I see you standing there. Oof. Oh, a range. And the I was just like, we're gonna get some lower range from Gio, which we don't always get. And then did she put a little like giggle in there? A little laugh? Hang on, ma'am. Okay, I love that we're getting some lower range from her. Also, she's so adorable. I'm just take my whole heart. I was going into this and I'm like, this is a really sweet song. And it's you. And I was like, is it going to make me fear for my life the way that some of the other special clips or covers that I have done so far have done? And I forgot that you likes to come for me. I forgot somehow. I think it's because she's so sweet and I know that she's not doing it on purpose. I know that she isn't coming for my soul with that intent. Yoo Hyun would, right? Yoo Hyun, she does a cover and I'm like, ma'am, you planned to snatch all of our souls, okay? Flashback. Ma'am. Okay, just, I mean, she knows. She knows. Sua too, okay? I saw no dot. I know what you're up to. But you, she, she's not intentionally coming for me. She just does because of who she is as a person. And I forgot, forgot how much I will just melt for her until I was like watching her just smiling and being adorable. It's fine. She sounds amazing too. I think that this song has just a very soft, subdued feeling to it that it fits her voice really well. Let that flip up. Maybe take a chance, cause I want this to be something straight out of a Hollywood movie. Da -da 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 -da. No spoilers, please. <laughs> Baby, take my hand. I want you 
Like walk up there. <laughs> Ma'am, I was just like, you're being real cute, and I was giggling about it. And then you were just like, let me just do this whole like run up into the higher part of my voice. My heartbeat's like really fast right now for no reason. <laughs> no reason other than I'm watching you and I would do literally anything for her. Honestly, no questions asked. Baby, take a chance, cause I want this to be Put like a little more power at the end of that too. No spoilers, please. Aww. <laughs> no spoilers, please. Ooh, the vocal runs happen in the back. Ma'am, not you giving us kisses. For real though, anything, anything she wants. <laughs> no questions asked. Wouldn't need any kind of preamble, honestly. I would just, I would pick up the phone and be like, yes, whatever it is, just tell me time and place. I love that she she did that one note where she did the run up into the upper part of her range, but then near the end of it, cause she started in a very light, almost falsetto sound, which is what a lot of the higher parts of the song were. But then at the end of that vocal run, she put more power into it. It got more into kind of like a mix part of her voice, which I think is really nice to show that she does have a lot of power in her voice. I feel like in Dreamcatcher, the dynamic that she adds to their songs is going into that more like delicate, lighter sound because there are some like great, powerful belting voices within Dreamcatcher. But that doesn't mean that she can't do it. It just means that she is filling in that specific part of the sound because her voice fits it really well. She has a very like soft voice naturally, but she also also has quite a bit of power and I love that she put in a little bit more into her voice near the end to rise up the energy like just a little bit like she wasn't going crazy with it but she was giving a little bit more closure and it was in that more like mixed part of her voice instead of being in that like falsetto where it really thins out so it was really great okay I want to like actually comment on her vocals instead of just simping but you understand okay we're all here because we just want to see it's her birthday I'm allowed to simp a little bit okay <laughs> That was so cute and adorable and I just love her so much. It's I, I totally get you guys being like, how do you pick how do you pick a bias in Dreamcatcher? I don't really know. Honestly, I, I'm definitely at the point where I, I know what some of the members of my bias line are, but at a certain point, do we cross into the threshold of I basically biased the whole group anyway? Uh, look, I have groups where I've biased every single member because I've gotten to the point where I'm like, my denial is just causing me more issues and what I need to do is just bias the whole group. Okay, so I'm not above it. Do is definitely a problem though. She's just, she's so precious and she just does these cute little things that are like so genuine, even in this where she was just like goofing around by herself. And I'm just like, you're so adorable. And her voice is so light and gorgeous and I think that it just has a wonderful dynamic both within the group and here where she can really soften up her voice and thin it out but it doesn't feel like she's reaching or anything like that. She's just such a gorgeous voice and I, I loved every second of that. I hope you enjoyed listening to that along with me. You can click this playlist to go into my previous reactions or you can subscribe to miss next time I post a Dreamcatcher reaction. I will see you in the next video. Bye!